We collect the dirt chick. This is a bicycle with a motor. And we will install the engine here in India, on a tough and indestructible Indian bike. That's right, to take this on an extraordinary journey from India to Nepal, to the Himalayan mountains, along the road of death, to the same base camp of climbers on Everest. Road of death. Who would have thought we would end up here? We found a huge bike shop right in the village. Imagine, here they are immediately collected, and we are now choosing the most worthwhile, the best. And of course we will take a fat bike, as you asked. It's here, but in fact it's probably not a fat bike. How do you think? This is a semi-fat bike. Yes, quite thin. This time we will definitely order super strong knitting needles so that they definitely won't break. It's interesting, but there are no speeds here. Have you ever seen this? Disc brakes? and lack of speed. This is the cycling star here. And here are the reinforced spokes. Look, three millimeters thick. Checking the length. Yes, this one is a little longer. We need a shorter one. I understand. This is for wheels with a diameter of 27. For other bikes, but here the wheels are smaller. The atmosphere doesn't feel that way anywhere else. Once you get to India, everything changes immediately. Holy moly. Guys, this only exists in India. Look, this is a sofa. Look at the spring size. Look, is it leather? Or why was it made? Guys, you got it wrong. It looks like a boiler. <laughs> yes, it was made from a boiler. Look, in extreme cases, this will help us for self-defense. Well, this is. It's pretty solid, but this is what scares me. Something is being put on this. Look how cool it is. A little tuning. Guys, we got the bike tuned, look. They screwed on a lot of different things. Now Anton will test whether this is okay. Anton. New one. This is oncoming traffic. He drove in the oncoming lane. And everyone honked at him. In short, the seat is super mega comfortable. Is it true? Ooh, that's pretty tight. The brakes are pretty cool. Did you see how the guys set it up? I stepped on the gas, but the bike didn't slow down. And the moped was coming straight towards me. It's good that the guy slowed down. Guys, these bikes are designed to be ridden by two or even three people. Our engines will not withstand this, I think. Mamma mia. This is fittings. Look. Look, they put it in there. Horror. It is something. It looks like thick sticks from rebar. I think now our knitting needles will not break. We solved the problem with the spokes using an extremely radical method. We put moped spokes here, thick ones. And here are the reinforcement bars. So fast. Is there an 8 there? Everything is fine. Guys, tell us, do you like this break? I'm shocked, these are gorgeous knitting needles. Just wow for this motor. Do the brakes work? The brakes are simply wonderful. The brakes here are just mechanical. Guys, just press this. There is a craving. The brakes are terrible. <laughs> You need to press all the way. All the way? Maybe this needs to be tightened up? Anton, look at their instruments. Horror. Primitive. This is not the suitcase with which we went to the nuclear test site. It's not serious. We need something powerful. We simply won't be heard with this. It's okay? Only one. Two, my brother. Guys, look at this bell. This is for the orthodox. Look at these massage hands. Wow, your hands will definitely not hurt. This feels so cool. What does this remind you of? This is Indian tuning. It's merciless. Now we'll check the strength of the trunk, guys. I don't know how many jowls there are. 
<laughs> it's a mouse trap, guys. Bro, mouse. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> this is for carry bag. Is this good? Wow, so cool. Now our knitting needles will always be clean. Tuning continues. Look at the basket. Thick metal. It's not like we use thin ones in Kazakhstan. It's just perfect for tools. This is the whole kit. There are nuts there, as you can see. I have a statement. To the police? Let it be. No. What police? I even feel in my heart that these bikes are the most ideal bikes for a hole in the wall. You put a motor on it, then you drive and enjoy, and forget about breakdowns. For some reason I feel The most important thing is the steering test, because we had a problem with it. The steering wheel is pretty good. Not bad, that's noticeable. Look at the quality. But why don't they do this in Russia? Why? It looks cool. Reflective, right? Guys, Indian tuning is completely merciless. How many reflectors? This is so that we don't get hit by cars. The streets here are very dangerous. For our safety, we purchase special LED caps that screw onto the nipple itself. Not a bad cap, huh? The cap is gorgeous. I think we definitely shouldn't be shot down at night. Guys, if you don't know, the exchange rate is 1 to 1, 1 Indian rupee is equal to 1 ruble, so it will be easy for you to count. Now you will see how many rubles we will pay for these bikes. Oops. Three bikes with tuning. How much will it cost? I'm wondering, is it cheaper than in Kazakhstan? We're going to pay. Crucial moment. The guys are counting. They turned on the mathematical calculation in their head. 20,400 rupees bro for all three bikes. One, two, three, yes? Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Say it's too expensive. Expensive? What are you talking about? In Kazakhstan we bought three terrible bikes for 40,000 rubles, which fell apart without tuning. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Bro. Good bike. Bro, the same man is very tasty. I know the same, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like you, bro. I like you. Bro, bro. You constantly want to start driving in the oncoming lane. What do you think about it? It's so easy to transport people on this. Very easy? Absolutely zero effort is made. Okay, thank you. You like Goram Hai? Oh, I do not understand. It is a famous in my India. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. He can't turn on the speed? He's short. Is it too high? There's traffic. Where is he going? I okay. I'm fine. Oh! What a cool ride! Anton, it is something. What about the brakes? The brakes are bad, not too bad though. If you press both brakes it's good. I might have an accident, need to go faster. This is a terrible Indian thing. Hard shock absorption, right? Yes, but to my surprise, turn the pedal. Very easy, very easy. The bike accelerates along the asphalt. I feel a little uncomfortable because everyone is honking. It feels like we're about to get shot down. Guys, I feel completely exposed on this bike. It feels like everyone is trying to knock you down at every corner. Signal as if there is definitely going to be an accident. Oh, it looks like we are on a normal road. The ride is very easy. I think with a motor this bike will just fly. We are driving in three rows. Is this normal? Yes, we should go like this. I'm afraid she'll catch me with a hoe. Checking the brakes. 
No, minor, very good. Press two brakes at the same time. It doesn't stall. Not good. Not good. Just not good. And this is our fourth friend. Yes, but it's not ready yet. Mama Mia. Pipe? Pasha, did you do it? No. <laughs> wow, is this for us? Yes. Holy moly. Guys, this is just something. Cool pipe. They will think that a truck is coming. Another? Holy moly. Holy moly. So, guys, this box contains our motors. We ordered this from AliExpress. It seems like these are exactly the same engines as we used in Kazakhstan. Now we will open one and show you the entire package. Let's go. What's inside? Oh yeah. The same boxes. The same sensations. Oh yeah, guys. Yes, that's it. This is different. The shape of this one is a little more convex. Oh yeah. There is a valve here. Everything is clean inside. Give me a sec. There are instructions. Look, there are instructions. This didn't happen before. Show it. Show it. Modification of sprockets. See. Photo is available. So high quality, right? <laughs> I'll show you this quickly. But of course we won't read it. Because we are professionals. We've already collected this. What a scent. And this is the motor. It's a motor, guys. Now we'll start it. How beautiful. Look, this motor is pretty intact. The lids are cast wonderfully. Does the clutch disengage well? Yes, that's it. Oh, I'm already knows what to do with it. Let me. How small? Just perfect. Yes, good. Let's try to start this? Okay, but then we also need a spark plug. Now this guy will bring us the key. Look at this muffler. Isn't it too small? It's noticeably shorter. The carburetor is the same. Same. Launch chamber and drawner everything is as it should be. Okay, but will these tools be enough for us? 12. This. Try this. 12. No, this one doesn't fit. I need this one. Now I'm sticking out the pin. And remove the cylinder cover. Show me what's inside. Everything is new and perfect. See if there is lubrication in the engine. No, it's as dry as the desert. You also need to remember how this gasket was installed. Try lowering the piston. Push it down. Just press it like a button. If there is no debris, then you can just grease it. Okay, Sasha. But there is rust here. But where did it come from? Ignition is exactly the same. There is room for flash drives. Okay, now we're through this nut. Here it is. We'll get this going. Let's lubricate the piston. Is this really oil? Drop it on the ground so as not to risk it. It feels like a detention. But let's take a chance. Tiki. I'll pour a lot. There is. Take it off. Now we'll fill it with gasoline. No, 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 bro. So, this exciting moment. I spoiled a little. Oh yeah. Good. It works. It works? Yes. Very strong. Very strong. Are you holding tight? Yes, sure. Great. Black wire. Insert, Sasha. This is good. Wait, this is the surroundings. <laughs> Stop. Ooh. Almost. Almost. It started working immediately. Yes. We had a lot of spectators. So, again. Again. Ready, one, two, three, go. We need to remove the enrichment. Can you smell that smell? Yes. 
I know it's going to be cool now. <laughs> It works. It works perfect. The previous one started worse. And that sound. Yes. We'll go very far on these. Everest is ours. Yes. Everest, wait for us. We are coming to you. Oxygen. Should I try with oxygen? What if the oxygenated oil explodes? Need to ride this one. Take a ride on this? Certainly. Or not necessary. Well, why not? It's without load. I don't know. Let's try. I wanted to pamper this engine with oxygen. दोस्तों अभी तो हम लोग उस इंजन पर ट्राई किए लेकिन अभी ये वाला इंजन जो है ना वो टू स्ट्रोक का इंजन है और इसे हम लोग सेट करने वाले हैं इन सारे साइकिल में ये बहुत ही ज्यादा पावरफुल साइकिल है और इससे हम लोग जाने वाले हैं नेपाल इसे स्टार्ट करते हैं वो भी एंगल ग्राइंड है ड्रिल मशीन से रेडी वन टू थ्री गो So, Anton, say something. The vibration was very strong. Wow, this barely came out of my hands. It's like 80 cubic meters, really. I feel like the power here is just crazy. This is gaining momentum very quickly. I just increased the gas a little and it accelerated instantly. The power here feels like crazy. I think this batch is of better quality. For India, they do it well. Apparently you're right. Apparently they send the most defective ones to Kazakhstan and only the best to India. Yes, they send defective goods to Kazakhstan and Russia, but they only send quality products here. Imagine if a million and a half or a billion people gather here, and they will go to China. So guys, it's here, a bike with a four-stroke engine from a motorcycle side. Note that this is simply welded to the trunk. There is also a secondary shaft on the trunk mount in order to enhance the reduction. This is how the drive is simply made. So, what is our task? Start this monster and give it gas. Now we will experience how powerful it is. Show me how to use the suction correctly. Sure. There is such a lever here. It's a gas leak. Yes. Swap, right. It bothers me that there are a lot of bubbles here. Open the choke. Great. Now the most important thing. The most important. From which one will it start? From the third. One, two, three, nothing. Did you open the choke? Maybe it's worth closing this on the contrary. What's happening? Listen, this is not okay. What did he do? Just look. It is not right. It is quieter than a two-stroke. Yes, it works very quietly. What did you do? I just checked whether it works or not. Just look. I think the chain needs to be tightened. Try to accelerate as much as possible. This is very good, you know. Enough. This is really cool. This is so powerful. This is very powerful. Guys, I want to ride this too. This smell. Can you smell this smell? Smells like clutch. Is there something wrong with this?
Let's go. This is such junk. Why? The mechanism is working. It's too weak. The reduction is wrong. I see it. No, it looks like a meat grinder. I'm scared. I'm afraid that the chain will wrap me around. It seems to me that Anton's legs may suffer. No way. Now we have problems. Is this the maximum speed? Yes. There is a lack of reduction here. Look. Why is this so? Can I weld a gearbox from a grinder here? Lack of reduction. It's just terrible, to be honest. Let me pass. Okay. It's just too weak. This is the maximum, Anton. Yes, I know. It will take us forever to get to Everest. It's not gaining traction at all. Look, it's too weak. Can't drive up the hill. Very weak. This is full power. Reduction is not enough. This is all. The clutch is burning. Can you smell it? I immediately said that it smelled like the clutch. That is, it has very little torque, but the top speed is very high. Do you remember earlier when we overclocked it? Guys, do you think it's a good idea to add oxygen to this engine? I just started. Open it. We want to treat this engine with pure oxygen. Let's see what happens. It's just an experiment. It might explode. Not bad. Insert your finger here. तो दोस्तों यहाँ पर मैंने ऑक्सीजन का सप्लाई बंद कर दिया बार बार ऑक्सीजन को चेंज कराना पड़ेगा इसलिए हम लोग डायरेक्टली ये एंटन भाई बड़ा परेशान कर रहा है ऑक्सीजन गुड दिस इज गुड फॉर द माउंटेन्स बिकॉज़ देयर इज लिटिल ऑक्सीजन देयर देयर इज नथिंग टू ब्रीथ एंड वी कैन टेक अ कैन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड ऐड अ लिटिल बिट टू इट एंड इट विल बी वेरी पावरफुल बिकॉज़ दीस कार्बोरेटर इंजंस डाई इन द माउंटेन्स So guys, something is waiting for us. Haven't changed it yet? No. We want to change the gearbox. Why is this? Bike? Motorbike? Yeah, yeah. This sprocket is too small. How do you think? This is true. Guys, I don't know how they'll fit it in there. Yes, you are installing a double gearbox. All this is needed in order to have good torque. He welded it. Look, the axle. Of course you alignment. Yes, just terrible. In short, guys, it's a homemade bike that we can't finish. We wanted to put this thing in. And look. Due to the welding, the shaft has moved. And when it rotates there is a slight beat. This is a big minus. Because of these beats, nothing will work. We decided to simply add another such sprocket. We hope this time it will work. Well, now we'll see what happens. You will need the help of a lathe. We arrived at some workshop. Now we will sharpen it all. And see what happens. A four-stroke homemade gasoline bicycle is being assembled. So, guys, we start installing the motors. Remove the protective film. Oh, look how cool this is. Unpacking. Holy moly. Yes, guys, everything is new. Such a bike costs only 5,000 rubles in India. Look like a hero. Remove the wheel. The wheel is removed. Install the sprocket. This seems to fit. 
rubber bands. We were most worried about this. How to install those rubbers? The bolts will fit between the spokes. Need to trim it down a bit. I think this will come out really cool. Yeah, I understand. What kind of scissors? This thing will interfere with the knitting needles. You think? Yes. In short, we have a problem. Due to the fact that the spokes are from a rickshaw, all the bolts can't fit through here. That kit doesn't fit. The original kit does not fit. We could not insert four bolts. The rest got in. Maybe it's still worth drilling it, Sasha. Because this is absolutely terrible. If they drill the holes between the spokes well, it will be very cool. Admire how beautiful the crescent moon stands here. Look here. It doesn't matter that the sprocket is not centered here. This is impossible. Forget it. We will not be able to do as we did in Kazakhstan. No comments. Who will ride this? Pasha will ride on this. Pasha, are you ready to ride this? Do not mind. Very cool bike. You will have the strongest bike. Yes, the strongest. They just bent the bolts. And therefore seven of the nine entered. Only two are missing. Two bolts are missing. We decided to replace these knitting needles with good ones, because we cannot supply the sprocket. That's all. I put the phone away so as not to fall. Anton, they brought the wheels to us. Finally. These are the same moped spokes. They are designed specifically for this motor. This is what our subscribers wrote to us on the internet. This is already a good thing. I can already see from the pattern that our sprockets will be here. I cannot wait. Do you know how cool this will be? After we installed it 10 times in Kazakhstan, the hands themselves already know what to do. Yes, yes. We really wanted to make the coolest spokes from a rickshaw, but as it turned out, such a kit simply does not fit this sprocket. Well, that's okay. These are their workers. Anton continues to enjoy installing the star. You guys have no idea how long I waited for this, how my ass burned when they bent these bolts and assembled it incorrectly. Not everything turned out to be so simple. These sprockets included in the kit have exactly nine bolts. That is, the spokes on those bikes from Kazakhstan were assembled into nine such crosses. And here there are ten of them. That is, there is one extra cross and therefore one bolt fit very tightly in us. We had to hammer it in with a hammer. This is of course wrong, but I hope this is compensated by the thickness of the spokes. Purely for the sake of experimentation, we decided to give free rein to Hacker Ohm. And he will simply weld this sprocket on the third bike. Let's see what comes of this. Basically, we made a special thing to weld the sprocket very precisely to the wheel. Wow. Let me. I like your idea better. Yes? It looks very reliable. I don't know why, but OM came up with it. He was grinding it right so it would fit very tightly. But Anton is doing something strange. This is very much pulling the star to the side. It is impossible for us to achieve perfect alignment. Look how it became. That's why the teeth even bent a little. Slightly bent. I'm not worried about it. Not good. Not good. West. He said to wait a little. Okay. What happened, Anton? Are you completely upset? <laughs> Anton's technology didn't work. The second day was spent on this. We did it very quickly in Kazakhstan. Yes. Yes. Look what happened. Holy moly. Looks reliable. The alignment seems to be perfect. Very tight. Not as bad as yesterday. He calls Sherpa. Sherpa. I think Ramu will come now. Sherpa has arrived. Look. It is already firmly in place, without welding. And with welding it will be mega cool. But what about? Although no, this is impossible. Maybe it's possible. I think so. Yes. They took it away. They changed it. Anton. Not anymore. I don't know. Is it level already? Ah, okay. <laughs> the runout is less than half a millimeter. Like in a factory. If we had known, we would have done it right away on large knitting needles. Damn, that was stupid. I didn't know they would do it so reliably.
Did they really take away those wheels? Yes, I did this to him this morning. Yes. Look, welding quality. Good. I took a good look and it's perfectly level. The only negative is that the knitting needles cannot be replaced. It's a pity those knitting needles, they wouldn't have to be changed. We were pretty stupid. How so, Sasha? Why couldn't we do it well? And he suggested doing this from the very beginning. We're all trying to put the wheel back on this bike, but for some reason it doesn't work. Did it fit? I simply bent the frame and it was done. The chain looks just mega chic. This is a crucial moment. Now we will mount the motor. It's very small. Like a toy. Look. Seems perfect. Yes, the frame here is thin. This is a big plus. This time the installation is going very quickly because there are a lot of workers. The real Indian bike is almost ready. I've never seen bikes like this before. Guys, it's 6 p.m. OM and I went to the local market. We need to find a small sprocket and a large sprocket for our four-stroke engine. This is very difficult to find. But I hope that India is big and we can do it. I apologize for my voice. After I swam in the atomic lake something happened to my tonsils. Well, the doctor said that over time everything will return to normal. We arrived at the local Indian market trying to find the sprockets needed for our four-stroke engine. As you can see it is difficult to find this. Yes? Yes, good? Guys, we found it. Holy shit. We found it. Sprocket for motorcycle. We buy it. Done, guys. We also found the necessary shafts for the big sprocket. Now OM is selecting the right bearing. We also stopped at such an interesting place. Here's to such an interesting little shop in the outskirts. Now we need to compress it all. Well, good luck, brother. So, guys, this is already the sixth day of our stay here in the village of Hacker OM and see how things are going. This is your favorite sprocket. Look what they did to it. Wow. And look what happened to the second one. Wow. Look. We were so worried that we missed this chance with rickshaw wheels. We will ride on the spokes of a rickshaw. It's very durable. First start. Let's start. We installed the motor. No problem. Is this okay? We've already encountered this. That's okay. So that the thread does not break. He just didn't have time to let go of the drill quickly and it started to spin in the opposite direction. Do you want to start with the pedal? Horror. Now I'll hold the clutch. Sasha, take care of your fingers. This is really weird. Take care of your fingers. It started up very cool with half a turn. The compression is just perfect. You can't crank the engine without a clutch, can you imagine? I think we'll just fly to Everest on these bikes. I cannot believe. It seems you can go for the first time on this. While there is no oil yet, we filled it with pure gasoline. I know you can't do that. But damn, for the sake of a few seconds of pleasure, why not? Start the clutch properly. Everything with a muffler, beautiful. <laughs> it seems like the tension is bad. Idle speed works. Yes, perfect. So we didn't adjust anything. Shut it down. No oil. Damn, this is something. So go test? Yes, go. So, let's go, darling. Yes, it should start now. 
Speed up, craving. What kind of traction? Anton, this is perfect. Speed up more. Drive on the other side. This is the oncoming lane. These are the brakes. You're driving in the oncoming lane again. Where is my lane? Right now. Crap. The brakes are bad. Need to tighten this up. When we sorted it out, they violated it. Brake. No brake. So Sasha, try this. Ride a little. But there is no oil there. No oil is bad. Don't be afraid. Look. In short, Anton, it drives just great. The only thing I need to do is adjust the carburetor. The engine seems to be running. In general, the carburetor is hot. I've already been burned a couple of times. You just need to wear trousers. The muffler is hot, and without trousers I could get burned. So guys, the second bike is almost ready. The third is on the way. Sprockets are all welded. So what's the result? We will have a rear wheel with regular fancy spokes. We will test their strength. Following. Two bicycles with very powerful wheels. Imagine, it will work out, so a moped wheel will do a better job than a rickshaw wheel. We'll see it. But they look very powerful. So, we will now go after the bees. To the street. It'll be cool. You will need to wear a protective suit. He took it away. <laughs> this belt? Yes. <laughs> Muffler. And he's not hot in it. He's just losing weight. You are ready? First bike test. Real. On bees. We installed a third sprocket, a third gearbox. I hope it goes well this time. Let's go, guys. Let's go. This is the village. Accelerate to the maximum. Imagine this with a flute, with a muffler. You need to remove the muffler. Anton, let's take this off on the way back. We'll enjoy it. No one is overtaking us. They just look at us. But Pasha cannot accelerate. His engine overheated. It seems we are there. There's a huge one coming from behind. Yes, go. Oh no. They are here? They are here? Where are we? These are already real Indian bees. Look how huge the tree is. Do you see bees? There are no monkeys. They're somewhere at the very top. You need to climb and look. But I don't know how we'll get them. They're gone. Are they gone? Are you serious? Yes. Say something, your first feelings. It goes like a cannon, like a hurricane. Much more powerful than Kazakh bikes. Crank it up. With anger. Oh no. Holy moly. Did you see that? Why is this so frisky? English medium? Pasha. English medium. Holy moly. It became weak. Really? It stinks. The clutch must have overheated. Namaste. How to turn it off? Who? Bring it up. When did it stop? When did I overclock it? Yes. Is it broken? I think so. Damn, they did this for two weeks and we broke it in five seconds. Did you break it? Well, when I pressed the gas it became weak. Only pedals. Look, it hit here. Sprocket is lopsided. I understand what's going on. Well, that's not bad. Things will be much worse in Nepal. We will buy a chainsaw and the problems will disappear. Not good for Nepal. It overheated. If you drive for a long time it overheats, yes. Is this a new engine? Completely new. But it's crap. And this is my joy. Take it with you. I don't know why. Let's go! Real wilderness, guys. Holy moly. How did we get here? You need to drive carefully. He knows the way. 
That's why we took it. Yes, you can easily get lost here. Damn, my brakes are really bad. Your bike is so noisy, it's terrible. We need to buy a chainsaw. They found a hive. Did they find bees? Let's go. But where? There? I can already see it. Look guys, they are there. He said this one would be small. Yes, they are not dangerous. They are absolutely safe. Does the buffalo mind? Stop, Pasha. They can be touched with your hands. Look guys. Let's go. Horror. They bit us. You see? Yes. You see? You need to shoot this on macro. Damn, I can't see anything. How painful. Film it. The pain is just terrible. It hurts so much, Anton. I just pulled out the sting. They bite very painfully. I am not kidding. Look what he does. Do you see this? Look, they're worried. Did they really bite you? Yes, we were both killed. Now you will see it. Come on, tear off a small piece. Together with the bees. From below. Try. I'll film this. Oh no. Camera. Horror. They are so aggressive. Holy crap. Let's go. They're in my hair. I've been bitten again. Look. Look, right here. Pull out the sting. This is medicine. He smears something on it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Show me how many times I was bitten. Where? Ten times. One, two, three. Do not move. It hurts so much that I can't stand it. Here they are, guys. Do not repeat this under any circumstances. We are just fools. We didn't collect a single gram of honey, but we were bitten by bees. Let's go. I see. There it sits. Get it out, Pasha. Faster. Faster. Fine. It's here. Another one? It bited me again. Look what it does to you. It can't come out. This seems to be an Asian bee. Which does not die when it stings. Oh no, the buffalo was bitten. He's wagging his tail. Poor buffalo. Again half the village had gathered. So, let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. I think it is right. Let's get out of here before these bees eat us. Look how swollen it is. Goodbye bees. It's pretty loud there. Wow. Where are they? We are in place? But why are we here again? People are gathering again. More and more. Something is starting. Of course we want to. We always want to eat. You just need to wash your hands. Are we going to eat this powder? But what is it? What is this? This is the thing that poisoned us, Anton. No, it's not that. You are sure? Yes. Always wash your hands before eating, even if you are in India. Especially if you are in India. They poured this into us as if for, as if it were catchy. They didn't understand you. They have been eating this since childhood. You need to pour hot boiled water there. But why do they eat dry noodles? Don't brew. Maybe we should show them this. He brought us water. This is a classic of the genre. We eat, everyone watches. Okay, now we'll eat our fill of this compound feed. Or what is it called? I don't care. I drank a packet of smekta. In Hindi, dalwood. Now we are eating Delwood. What does it consist of? Oh, it's oatmeal. Children, eat feed. Look! It's so delicious. They're giving us more and more. We can't stop. It's like chips. We start eating and can't stop. Like seeds. What? <laughs> we got home. And something came out. It turns out that this homemade bike is complete crap. It fell apart literally a kilometer later. The sprockets are jammed here again. It overheats in literally one minute. It keeps stalling. I do not know why. We bought the best engine that was available for the lawn mower. Look what's happening. What? 
No traction at all? Raise the wheel. Put it on the step. Gas. Wait, this one needs help. Keep going. Keep going. Sprocket's jammed. He'll fix it now. Continue. What's happening? For some reason this chain is hot. Oh look. The circuit gets hot. Look what's wrong. It doesn't hit the teeth. Look how rubbed it is. He said something was going on. Something is happening. Why is it hot? We understand. Oh look, this doesn't work normally. Need to lubricate it. Oil. Yes, need oil. Look, it's just... That's why it was so noisy. It's hot and doesn't sag. There's still a chance, right? Yes, it's there. We still need to work on this. Perhaps we will still go to Nepal with this. You just need to lubricate it. Yes. To support the production of our videos, you can go to our Patreon or YouTube sponsorship. By the way, the next video is already available for our sponsors.